Jake Paul reveals his relationship with Erica Castell is fake. Zayn admits he was never really friends with Harry Styles. What? And are Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods getting married? All that and so much more on today's Rundown. So if you weren't up really late last night, Fifth Harmony played Flinch on The Late Late Show and I was dying. So funny. But first, let's talk about something that we don't usually talk about on this show, celebrities giving back. Hand in hand, these stars stood a telethon organized by Scooter Braun and Bun B to help all those who were affected by Hurricane Harvey and Irma. They raised over $44 million in just one night, according to TMZ. The one hour commercial free special featured what felt like every single celebrity from music, TV, and movies, either performing or answering phone calls from donors to sharing a heartfelt victim story. So some of the celebs that participated included Justin Bieber, who led everyone in a prayer, Demi Lovato, who slayed her performance with Brad Paisley, and Selena Gomez, who gave a very emotional tribute to a family that drowned in Hurricane Harvey. TMZ reported that Hand in Hand raised over $14 million just in the first hour, and they are still taking donations at handinhand2017.com. $44 million. That's awesome. That's amazing. I know. It makes you think that if celebrities just got together all the time, like we could like cure world hunger or, you know, anything that we need to because they raised 14 million in just an hour. I That's know. That's insane. That's a lot. I really am proud of all of these celebrities who all get together, even though some of them maybe don't get along. Maybe they aren't the best of friends. But because it's such a great cause, they all got together to do this together. I was really proud of everybody who was involved. Well, Aaron, surprise, surprise, mm. Jake Paul is in the news yet again. And this time he's admitting that his relationship with Erica Costell is fake. In an interview with the New York Times, Jake confessed his relationship with Team 10 member Erica Costell is fake. Jake and Erica, AKA Jerica, have filmed lots of videos together about their relationship, including one where they actually got married. But Jake admits it's all for the cameras. He said, we're not even actually dating. It's like the WWE, which is the World Wrestling Entertainment. People know that it's fake and it's one of the biggest things of entertainment. Which is weird because back in August, Erica told Refinery29, so yes, we throw some exaggerated stuff in there, but it's very obvious what is real and what is not. She continued, you can only fake so much. Mm. So weird. I mean, I want to say I'm confused, but I think I got to go with Jake Paul on this one. Like, it's fake. It kind of feels like it when I watch the videos back. Like, I think they like each other enough as like friends, but I don't get this chemistry, I'm in love with you kind of vibes. But it's, it's like being, you mentioned this earlier, being in a reality show 24 seven, you know, I think it's their jobs. They wake up, they go to sleep, thinking, dreaming, speaking, anything that has to do with YouTube. And so, I mean, it makes sense career wise. It's just pretty exhausting. Can you imagine having a fake boyfriend and a fake relationship that you have to put on and then not actually have a real relationship with anyone? I know. It seems like, sad. I, could, I don't think I could kiss someone that I didn't, wasn't attracted to. Interesting. Yeah. Well, Could I guess because they're actors. Do you know what right. I mean? Like it's an acting job for them. I mean, yeah, I've made out with so many people I wasn't attracted to. It's really <laughs> weird. I had a, had a spell in college, a little run where I was just like making out with everyone. I just wanted to get better, you know? Practice makes perfect. <laughs> okay, I'm so confused. We have a new clip from Life of Kylie where she and her BFF Jordan are apparently getting married, but it's not getting married. It's more of a commitment ceremony for their friendship, but it feels like a marriage. I'm so confused. I mean, we knew these two were really close, but walking down the aisle? Oh, this is so strange. So on Sunday's season finale of Life of Kylie, the besties, they take their friendship to a whole other level with a traditional commitment ceremony in Peru. this was actually Mama Chris who was in attendance as the two girls turned to the man presiding over the ceremony. He starts reciting, quote, the rights to be married and Chris kind of starts freaking out. What? <laughs> this is just a commitment ceremony. Does he know that? Do we need to get this annulled after? There's no prenup. 
finality is Sunday. We're not really sure if the girls got married officially or not. If they did, great, I guess. I, I, I didn't know there was like a friendship marriage. Um, I, you know what's so funny is I feel like people who I was friends with in my early 20s, I barely speak to anymore. So I'm like, good luck to you guys. I mean, it's hard enough getting married in your 20s to someone like in a marriage, but a friendship marriage, that's even harder. I just can't wait for Sunday because the fact that Kris Jenner was like freaking out about it and she's like, wait, they haven't even signed a prenup. You know, like Kris Jenner's like all about the money. <laughs> like, it's just so <laughs> funny to me. And their hats like in this clip, like the whole thing is just hilarious to me. Yeah. But now, but at first I was like, well, could Kylie be a lesbian maybe? Like, I don't know, Demi Lovato has a girlfriend now. Like sure. maybe that's what's in, who knows? It doesn't matter and either way, I'm gonna be watching Sunday. Would you marry your best friend in a commitment ceremony? Aaron, if you're asking me to marry you right here on camera live, yes, yes I will marry you. It's official, it's happening, you guys. Someone will make out with me. <laughs> so ever since Zayn left One Direction, we've all been wondering what happened. Like, yes. are they friends? Are they not friends? Like, what actually went down? And for the first time ever, Aaron, Zayn is opening up about it and admitting he was never friends with Harry Styles. So Zayn recently chatted with Us Weekly to talk about his girlfriend Gigi having kids and his friendship with the 1D boys. And the most shocking part of the interview came when he admitted that he never had a relationship with Harry in the first place, I'm dying. First he was asked, are you still close to the 1D guys? To which he responded, we're in touch, everything is on a civil level. It's not the way it used to be, obviously, because we were spending 24 hours a day in the band, and now we're growing as individual men, but we still check in. Then the follow-up question was, do you talk to Harry Styles? And Zayn answered, to be honest, I never really spoke to Harry even when I was in the band. So I didn't really expect that much of a relationship with him. And I am shook, Aaron. Like the fact that they never talked, they toured for years around the world together. I personally thought they were like the two biggest stars of the mm -hmm. band. And the fact that he admitted that they never talked, like what do you make of this? I think you hit it on the head. I think these two were Definitely this like not the stars, all the other guys are awesome, but it seemed like oh they got these two got the most attention. And I think that when you are strong personalities, you wanna be like the star of a group. There usually is only one or two in every boy band. I think there was a little bit of competition there, even though maybe it was unspoken, but I think somewhere in their subconscious they were competing against each other. But it's just, it's a matter of being professional and the fact that the boys were in the group so early, but yet they still could get along on stage and record albums together, even though they didn't like each other. I think that shows a level of maturity because the reality is right. we're all gonna have to work with people we don't like and you just have to suck it up. That's so true. And now that I think about it, it kind of makes sense because they weren't like growing up in the same neighborhood together you know they were put together yeah so they kind of had to just deal and Figure pretend to be out. friends or really become friends but I really want Zane and Harry to get along well maybe they I get want along. a reunion they might oh the reunion I don't think it's ever gonna happen you guys know how I feel about that well I don't know what your bedtime is mine is pretty early so I had to get this recap this morning but the girls of Fifth Harmony played a game of flinch on James Corden. They also performed, but I was so excited to see these girls do something other than just perform on a show because they're funny. I don't know if you've seen the game flinch that James Corden does, but he spits various forms of fruit and produce through some sort of cardboard cutout of his face while celebrities stand behind a glass holding a drink and their job is to not flinch. Now watch Ali do it. Do you flinch easily, do you think? I absolutely do flinch easily. I'm literally shaking right now. Um, <laughs> the thing is... The girls offered each other advice as each one went up, including tighten your ass, which is advice I could take any day of the week. After the game, 5H performed their little catchy single, He Liked That. Do you flinch easily? I do. Yeah, I was flinching watching. <laughs> I was no, you don't. I was flinching watching the girls waiting to be flinched. Or, that sounds weird. Yeah, Being waiting flinched. to be flinched. Yeah, I, I was really nervous for them, but I felt like Lauren apparently won. But I don't know. At the end, I saw her spill a little bit of booze. So yeah, I don't know. When it comes to booze, though, my priorities shift. Yeah, the, the <laughs> saddest be part was seeing all the great booze go like, to waste. Like, don't waste it. Yeah. Give it to us. <laughs>
Okay, Kylie Jenner and Jordan, do you think that they got married? Like, what does this ceremony even mean? Let us know in the comments. And all you Jerrica fans, are you Ooh. sad to find out that Jake and Erica aren't together? Do you think Jake is a jerk? Is he a genius for doing all of this? Is he both? Tell us in the comments. I think he's just probably exhausted. That sounds very exhausting to me. All right, guys, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we will be back here tomorrow. Bye-bye. Click left to see Demi Lovato caught with her new girlfriend. Or right to see Rihanna fans troll Kylie Cosmetics.